cracking, everybody. How you doing? Saludos, buenos dias. Uh, I'm going to get into something that's probably going to get caught up. I'm going to have Blue Devil, Dildo, and American Coward chop it up and send this to the black community. By all means, handle your business. I ain't tripping. Uh, no disrespect to the black community. I've got subscribers that are black. I have friends that are black. I have family members that are black. Uh, but I do want to get on this uh, this guy's bumper, Red Supreme. Red Supreme has made a video about me a while back talking about I was a racist because I didn't believe in reparations for the blacks. Uh, even though I clearly spoke to him and, and told him um, my me being against reparations was for anybody, not just blacks, but anybody getting reparations, and it was clearly from a taxpayer's standpoint. Okay, now listen. Red Supreme is constantly causing division. Every video that he comes out about, he's talking about Rasa one one form or another. He's always talking about Rasa. In this last video, I seen him talking about Lefty Gunplay and um, Swifty Blue. Talking about that they're stealing from the black culture, that hip-hop is black music, and they shouldn't be using the black culture music in order to make a living. Okay, he can push the narrative all he wants. But it's been well documented that Latinos were part of the beginning of hip hop. Whether he likes it or not, you cannot change facts. Facts are Latinos were part of hip hop in the beginning. Not only when the beginning, but the success that it's had. Latinos are probably the biggest uh, supporters of hip hop buying the products. Now, I, I will grant you, I'm I'm not very con very fond of uh, a lot of Rasa doing uh, uh, hip hop, but there are some like you know, uh, uh, what's the name, uh, lighter shade of brown. Stuff like that. It's you know I mean there's there's music out there that I'm very proud of for my gente. And uh they're very good and they're not they're not uh exploiting anybody's culture. But to say that that Latinos were not part and that this is a black culture is almost comical. This man needs he when he when he was making a video about me he talked about a doctor, a black doctor that that did the first successful heart surgery, and the first um, blood transfusion. It was true. The person that did it was black. Their skin color was black. But he's looking. It's almost like a half half full half empty cup. Okay, it, it's it's how you look at it. I looked at it as those two individuals took the opportunity to go to school and learn who taught those, those individuals. Was it a Latino? Was it a white? Was it an Asian that taught them and schooled them on how to do it? Those individuals went to school and they were well-educated in order to do that. It shouldn't validate a podcaster in 2024 that wants to yell out, we're better than everybody because I'm black. That you're stealing everything from a black. If you want to look at it this way, let's, well, let's play your game, okay? Red Supreme, we'll play your game. Okay. We'll stop doing hip-hop. If you stop counting money, you don't get no currency. You don't do anything with arithmetic. Everything starts with arithmetic, including medical. Everything starts with arithmetic. Who created that? The Aztecs. So, if you're counting money, currency, your bills, 
your subscribers and what you made this month, you're stealing from our culture. That's how ignorant that sounds by you saying we're stealing from the black culture. That's how ignorant it sounds. So you go go both ways. And I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm just trying to show you the errors of your ways. You're causing division between two groups of people. When you sit there and constantly talk about another race and make it about the color of somebody's skin, who's the racist? It's you. You need to stop focusing on... That's how you're making your money. It's talking about raza. That's how you're making your money on YouTube, talking about my people. Still in their culture. What do you, and then you said something to, to the effect that that um, because they wear thick chains, that's not a raza thing. Dude, have you not seen the Paisas of Mexico? Cartels? You think blacks wear chains? Oh, you ain't seen shit till you see a Paisa from the cartels have chains. Dude, you, you, you're, you're speaking... And it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, and it's not right. It's disrespectful. You want people to have respect for, for, for your gente, your people? Then you need to have respect for everybody else's. It's not because things aren't done because of somebody's color of their skin. And it's hypocritical to even think that. It's comical. Like I said, hip-hop has been documented. I know you guys try to change the narrative. You and Nasheed are always trying to change the narrative and history and the books and everything else to reflect that a black man did it. Well, you're doing it now. Are you the first podcaster? Was a black the first podcaster? If not, then you should step off of YouTube because you're still in somebody else's culture. Now, I'm not complaining about it. I didn't start it. I'm not trying to validate it by somebody else's accomplishments. You really want to go all the way back? This land belonged to my people. I'm Amer Amer I got American history, uh, Native American blood in me. Without our land, none of this is possible. So you want to start going... History and the things, well, you know, it goes both ways, man. Stop making videos about Rasa. Make some videos to empower your people like you want. Just do it a different way. Because the way you're doing it, all you do is cause division. Have a blessing, you guys.